Yeah. Hey. So for three years while I was in high school, I was in art class, and I got up every morning to be there from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And normally that might not sound so appealing to be at school on a Saturday that early, but it's something I love to do, and it's something that gave me peace of mind because I loved making giant cellos and I loved making a saxophone out of cans and cutting cardboard and painting and everything. So what I um, in my senior year, I became president of art club and then therefore had the experience to run and help produce and organize our yearly art show. So after I graduated high school, my club advisor decided to hire me because of the experience that I've already gained to help her run the art show for the following years. Now I'm telling you this story because I wanted, I think it's a good example of how being involved on campus can be beneficial to you. For me, it got me employment. Today I wanted to speak to you on the financial, academic, and personal benefits of being involved on campus and in hopes that you choose to go out and explore the numerous resources campuses have to offer. So last year, Forbes magazine did an interview or a survey of recently graduated college students in, term, in hopes of determining the importance of networking. And they found that 30% of graduates said that they wish they had networked a lot more in college and that they advised people to make connections and uh, make connections, be social, and be information hounds. Get out there and get information and uh, seek opportunities. They also noted that we live in a uh, we live in an age where almost 80% of senior jobs, or jobs that are better paid and uh, allow for better time management, are filled via personal connections. So networking is really important. Currently, there are many programs here on campus that try to connect students with professionals in hopes of uh, well, building that connection for your major and gaining new experience. I know there's a the Mexican, the Mexican American Engineers Club here on campus hosted a guest speaker engineer to come talk to people about the profession and to give people an insight on what it is to be like to be an engineer. And programs such as STEM, short for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, always uh, are always updating their websites and trying to inform people on upcoming internships and upcoming volunteer opportunities which will launch people into these environments where they will gain the experience they will need for the future in their careers. And of course, it helps them network. Also, there are ways you can get involved in organizations. Once you get involved in these organizations and these programs, your scholarship opportunities open up like crazy. Um, because a lot of clubs on campus and a lot of departments and programs offer scholarships such as AGS, PTK, STEM and the FC Foundation. You can also, you'll also find that people who are involved in student government earn an honorarium of about $250 per semester. Now I'm not telling you this so that you join student government just for that, but sort of it's a, there, there is a financial incentive to be involved on campus. When it comes to academics, there was a study um, done by the director of the, of, of the Office of Institutional Research over at Cal State Sacramento and his uh, and ass the assessment research analyst Jonathan Shibley, who concluded that people who were involved in extracurricular activities actually showed higher reten retention and graduation rates, and their GPAs were also better. They formed a study where they looked at freshmen for four years until they were seniors, and they separated them into two groups: people who were involved in at least one extracurricular activity and those who were involved in none. So they, they were able to find that when you're involved in extracurriculars, you're more motivated to keep to your graduation goals and to keep to your studies. I think it's normal to enter college not with an unclear view of where you want to go, especially in community college, I think that's maybe one of the reasons why people join or come here. But that's all the more reason to kind of explore the resources that this campus has to offer. And a good resource uh, example is the Cadena Transfer Center. If you go there, they will help you help tell you what classes you'll need to take for the following years or semesters in order to get you to the college that you want. Another good resource is the Honors Program, which will allow you to take classes that are a lot smaller and will 
give you the opportunity to challenge yourself a little bit more with the separate curriculum. Honor societies are also really good because you're guaranteed to find people in there with similar academic goals. You will find people that you can form study groups with, like AGF and PTA, you would make really good friendships. Now, I was reading an article for my research about the different kind, different types of campus clubs, and one of the types was titled the uh, Personal Development Club. And they gave an example of a women's empowerment club called Enamorance Women's Initiative Club that's offered at Durham Community College. And this club just basically is meant to empower women, to encourage them to build their self-esteem and uh, promote integrity, intellect, and strength. So I started thinking about the clubs here on campus that offer sort of the same, that fit the same category, such as clubability. And this is a club that uh, their members have physical or mental disabilities here on campus, but they encourage their members to pursue their academic goals relentlessly. Another club that came to mind that's also available here on campus is the Christian Students Bible Study, which promotes spiritual development and growth. And then LGBT club came to mind too, because they seek to unite gay, straight, lesbian supporters in hopes to promote uh, acceptance. So I know life is busy, and I know it's difficult to make time for campus involvement, but to not do so, it's kind of like you're neglecting an opportunity, because there are, there are financial and academic and personal development benefits to being involved on campus. Last Friday and last Tuesday, I was invited to two banquets where I received some scholarship, and I have another one coming up on the 25th, and that's mainly because of how involved I've been on campus. And in terms of personal growth, I feel that it's because of my extracurricular activities that I kind of know what I need to work on. I know what I'm also good at. And I've met some really fantastic people along the way. So if you would like to know more, next time you pass out of the cafeteria, there's actually offices about there. And there are special programs to for associated students. And you can go and check out what they have to offer. And they will gladly link you to any clubs that you're interested in. They have the information of the room numbers and uh, when they meet. So that's if you're interested. Thank you. Luna, are you here? Me? Yeah. I just walked in. Oh, so you missed the speech too. Okay. Can I do it since I missed mine? Sure. Um, well, I liked it a lot. I thought she was clear and she knew her subject and set it out and she had great eye contact with the, the audience. Um, she had a lot of examples, a lot of information, and she remained calm. All right, I, I thought the personal experience at the beginning was fine, and you get us to visualize the activity that you're engaged in, and then you make a good transition to what your purpose statement is. You've got a very clear statement of the purpose and goal, and there's a preview embodied in that at the same time. So uh, the setup is pretty solid. Uh, your internal signpost could be a little bit more specific, but it wasn't hard to follow. I thought you started off pretty well with some information about how people don't develop the relationships that they need to as much as they could. And I thought you had one good piece of information on that. And then after that, 
it, it re there really wasn't any more on.